Rate distortion theory is a major branch of information theory which provides the theoretical foundations for lossy data compression. It addresses the problem of determining the minimal number of bits per symbol, as measured by the rate R, that should be communicated over a channel, so that the source input signal can be approximately reconstructed at the receiver output signal without exceeding a given distortion D. Topic. Introduction Rate distortion theory gives an analytical expression for how much compression can be achieved using lossy compression methods. Many of the existing audio, speech, image, and video compression techniques have transforms, quantization, and bit rate allocation procedures that capitalize on the general shape of rate distortion functions. Rate distortion theory was created by Claude Shannon in his foundational work on information theory. In rate distortion theory, the rate is usually understood as the number of bits per data sample to be stored or transmitted. The notion of distortion is a subject of ongoing discussion. In the most simple case, which is actually used in most cases, the distortion is defined as the expected value of the square of the difference between input and output signal, i.e., the mean squared error. However, since we know that most lossy compression techniques operate on data that will be perceived by human consumers listening to music, watching pictures and video the distortion measure should preferably be modeled on human perception and perhaps aesthetics, much like the use of probability in lossless compression, distortion measures can ultimately be identified with loss functions as used in Bayesian estimation and decision theory theory. In audio compression, perceptual models and therefore perceptual distortion measures are relatively well developed and routinely used in compression techniques such as MP3 or Vorbis, but are often not easy to include in rate distortion theory. In image and video compression, the human perception models are less well developed and inclusion is mostly limited to the JPEG and MPEG weighting quantization, normalization matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Distortion functions Distortion functions measure the cost of representing a symbol x display style x by an approximated symbol x caret display style hat x typical distortion functions are the hamming distortion and the squared error distortion Topic Hamming distortion d x x caret equals zero if x equals x caret one if x does not equal x caret display style d x hat x equals left begin matrix zero and m box if x equals hat x one and m box if x neq hat x end matrix right Topic: Squared error distortion. D x x caret equals x minus x caret two. Display style d x hat x equals left x hat x right caret two. Topic: Rate distortion functions. The functions that relate the rate and distortion are found as the solution of the following minimization problem. Inf q Y X Y X 
I Q Y X subject to D Q D Display style I N F underscore Q underscore Y X Y X I underscore Q Y X M box subject to D underscore Q L E Q D carrot asterisk Here Q Y X Y X Display style Q underscore Y X Y X sometimes called a test channel is the conditional probability density function PDF of the communication channel output compressed signal Y display style Y for a given input original signal X and I Q Y X display style I underscore Q Y X is the mutual information between Y display style Y and X display style X defined as I Y X equals H Y minus H Y X display style I Y X equals H Y H Y X where H Y display style H Y and H Y X display style H left Y X right are the entropy of the output signal Y and the conditional entropy of the output signal given the input signal re respectively H Y equals minus minus infinity infinity p y y log 2 p y y d y Display style H Y equals int underscore N A T carrot N A T P underscore Y Y log underscore two P underscore Y Y die H Y X equals minus minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity q y x y x p x x log 2 q y x y X D X D Y Display style H Y X equals int underscore in a T carrot in a T int underscore in a T carrot in a T Q underscore Y X Y X P underscore X X log underscore two Q underscore Y X Y X D X die the problem can also be formulated as a distortion rate function, where we find the infimum over achievable distortions for given rate constraint. The relevant expression is INF Q Y X Y X E 
d q x y subject to i q y x r display style i n f underscore q underscore y x y x e d underscore q x y m box subject to i underscore q y x l e q r the two formulations lead to functions which are inverses of each other the mutual information can be understood as a measure for prior uncertainty the receiver has about the sender's signal H -Y, diminished by the uncertainty that is left after receiving information about the sender's signal H Y X display style H left Y X right of course the decrease in uncertainty is due to the communicated amount of information, which is I Y X Display style I left Y X right. As an example, in case there is no communication at all, then H Y X equals H Y display style H left Y X right equals H Y and I Y X equals zero display style I left Y X right equals zero Alternatively, if the communication channel is perfect and the received signal y display style y is identical to the signal x display style x at the sender, then h y x equals zero. Display style H left Y X right equals zero and I Y X equals H X equals H Y Display style I left Y X right equals H X equals H Y in the definition of the rate distortion function d q display style d underscore q and d display style d caret asterisk are the distortion between x display style x and y display style y for a given q y x y x display style q underscore y x y x and the prescribed maximum distortion respectively when we use the mean squared error as distortion measure, we have for amplitude continuous signals d q equals minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity p x y x y x minus y 2 d x d y equals minus infinity infinity minus infinity 
infinity q y x y x p x x x minus y 2 d x d y Display style D underscore Q equals int underscore in a T carrot in a T int underscore in a T carrot in a T P underscore X Y X Y X Y carrot two DX die equals int underscore in a T carrot in a T int underscore in a T carrot in a T Q underscore Y X Y X P underscore X X X Y y caret 2 dx die as the above equations show calculating a rate distortion function requires the stochastic description of the input x display style x in terms of the pdf p x x display style p underscore x x and then aims at finding the conditional PDF Q Y X Y X display style Q underscore Y X Y X that minimize rate for a given distortion D display style D caret asterisk these definitions can be formulated measure theoretically to account for discrete and mixed random variables as well. An analytical solution to this minimization problem is often difficult to obtain except in some instances for which we next offer two of the best known examples. The rate distortion function of any source is known to obey several fundamental properties, the most important ones being that it is a continuous, monotonically decreasing convex U function and thus the shape for the function in the examples is typical even measured rate distortion functions in real life tend to have very similar forms. Although analytical solutions to this problem are scarce, there are upper and lower bounds to these functions including the famous Shannon lower bound SLB, which in the case of squared error and memoryless sources, states that for arbitrary sources with finite differential entropy R D H X minus H D display style R D G E Q H X H D where H D is the differential entropy of a Gaussian random variable with variance D this lower bound is extensible to sources with memory and other distortion measures one important feature of the SLB is that it is asymptotically tight in the low distortion regime for a wide class of sources and in some occasions, it actually coincides with the rate distortion function. Shannon lower bounds can generally be found if the distortion between any two numbers can be expressed as a function of the difference between the value of these two numbers. The Blahet Arimoto algorithm, co invented by Richard Blahet, is an elegant iterative technique for numerically obtaining rate distortion functions of arbitrary finite input output alphabet sources, and much work has been done to extend it to more general problem instances. When working with stationary sources with memory, it is necessary to modify the definition of the rate distortion function and it must be understood in the sense of a limit taken over sequences of increasing lengths. R D equals lim n infinity R n D 
Display style R D equals lim underscore N right arrow in a T R underscore N D where R N D equals one N I N F Q Y N X N element of Q I Y N X N Display style R underscore N D equals FRAC one N I N F underscore Q underscore Y carrot N X carrot N in math call Q I Y carrot N X carrot N and Q equals Q Y N X N Y N X N X zero E D X N Y N D Display style math call q equals q underscore y caret n x caret n y caret n x caret n x underscore zero e d x caret n y caret n l e q d, where superscripts denote a complete sequence up to that time, and the subscript zero indicates initial state. Topic: Memoryless, independent Gaussian source with squared error distortion. If we assume that x display style x is a Gaussian random variable with variance sigma two display style sigma caret two. And if we assume that successive samples of the signal x display style x are stochastically independent, or equivalently, the source is memoryless, or the signal is uncorrelated, we find the following analytical expression for the rate distortion function: r d equals one two log 2 sigma x 2 d if 0 d sigma x 2 0 if d greater than Sigma x two display style r d equals left begin matrix frac one two log underscore two sigma underscore x caret two d and m box if zero leq d leq sigma underscore x caret two zero and m box if d greater than sigma underscore x caret two end matrix right. The following figure shows what this function looks like rate distortion theory tell us that no compression system exists that performs outside the gray area the closer a practical compression system is to the red lower bound the better it performs as a general rule this bound can only be attained by increasing the coding block length parameter Nevertheless, even at unit block lengths, one can often find good scalar quantizers that operate at distances from the rate distortion function that are practically relevant. This rate distortion function holds only for Gaussian memoryless sources. 
it is known that the Gaussian source is the most difficult source to encode. For a given mean square error, it requires the greatest number of bits. The performance of a practical compression system working on, say, images, may well be below the R D display style R left D right lower bound shown. Topic memoryless independent Bernoulli source with Hamming distortion the rate distortion function of a Bernoulli random variable with Hamming distortion is given by R D equals H B P minus H B D zero D min P one minus P zero D greater than min P one minus P display style R D equals left begin matrix H underscore B P H underscore B D and zero L E Q D L E Q min P one P zero and D greater than min P one P end matrix right where H B display style H underscore B denotes the binary entropy function. Plot of the rate distortion function for P equals zero point five display style P equals zero. 5. Topic connecting rate distortion theory to channel capacity Suppose we want to transmit information about a source to the user with a distortion not exceeding D rate distortion theory tells us that at least R D display style R D bits, symbol of information from the source must reach the user. We also know from Shannon's channel coding theorem that if the source entropy is h bits symbol and the channel capacity is c, where ch display style c, then h minus c display style h c bits symbol will be lost when transmitting this information over the given channel. For the user to have any hope of reconstructing with a maximum distortion d, we must impose the requirement that the information lost in transmission does not exceed the maximum tolerable loss of h minus r d display style h r d bits symbol. This means that the channel capacity must be at least as large as r d display style r d. Topic. See also Decorrelation Rate distortion optimization Source coding Sphere packing Whitening Blahit-Arimoto algorithm